Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about when we might see the next Pokemon Presents. All of the speculation that's been kind of going around. Also when we've got Presents in the past for previous generations. Going to be taking a look at all of it to hopefully kind of get an idea when we might see the next trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have two long threads to go over about speculation for the next Pokemon Presents. Um, so this is the first one. It was tweeted out by Cam Tendo who said, you know, I'm starting to think the presents might be around June the 4th or the 5th because those are the Go Fest dates. And usually Pokemon Go Fest is in mid slash late July, but this year it's in early June. A present seems like the perfect time to want to promote it. Time will tell. So yeah, this Go Fest cracking on on what the 4th the 5th of june of course that is a weekend though and we don't usually get pokemon presents at the weekend i mean anything is possible i think the last pokemon presents that we got which announced pokemon scarlet and violet was actually on a sunday i know that was because it was pokemon day um but usually when we you know when it's not a massive celebration like the day of pokemon we don't usually get something on the weekend it's usually tuesday wednesday thursday or friday monday is not really that much of a, a day that they kind of promote stuff on either but anything could happen so still quote retweeted this saying this this definitely makes it seem likely that our pokemon scarlet and violet news date would be the first week of june especially because like before the pokemon scarlet and violet reveal on pokemon day they just recently announced big updates for pokemon home pokemon masters pokemon go when was the last unite news however so yeah on the update well on the lead up to um pokemon day in february yeah, we got news every single day about the different Pokemon games like Pokemon Home, Pokemon Masters, Pokemon Go, etc. And then obviously we got the big Pokemon Presents where they announced um, obviously Pokemon Scarlet, Violet, Legends Arceus DLC and stuff like that. Even though they kind of promoted all this stuff on the lead up to the Pokemon Presents though, they still kind of recapped it all in the Pokemon Presents, which was a little bit annoying. But anyway, they say the only thing holding me back is what Ku um, said about seeing us next in June and exploring his riddles, as well as giving us a whole new one before the Scarlet and Violet mascots reveal. At the same time, when I come, uh, when it comes to Ku, uh, whenever he sets times and dates up for himself, many times he changes it. Uh, and then he goes on to say, so I'm still sticking to my theory of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news drop happening the second or third week of June. If Ku starts hinting again before June though, get ready. And once we are in June, it's all hands on deck. Many are also talking about a Nintendo E3 replacement direct happening in June. Um, so this is another tweet by Cam Tendo saying, with home 2.0 Masters event in Hisui anime this past week, doesn't it seem like these would be something we'd see promoted in a Presents? They all just dropped. It's usually never like this. Um, whatever is coming in the Presents must be big for them to just lay their cards out. And then they also go on to say, so many think the third week is impossible, but it's not confirmed how or even if Nintendo will update us on the coming games of the 22 in June. I was also sent this, and it may also be a very real possibility instead of a, um, a big all-in-one place direct. So this was a post on Reddit, and I think they're literally just talking about how um, Nintendo's plans are for like the direct and stuff. So uh, Jeff Grubb has heard, but unable to confirm, Nintendo might be doing multiple smaller showcases throughout June instead of a large direct. So obviously we spoke about a potential Nintendo Direct in the video that went up yesterday, um, but instead of just one big Nintendo Direct, which they probably would have done around E3, they might just break it up to loads of different ones. And then I guess a Pokemon Presents would be one of those, if that makes sense. Um, he has been unable to confirm this and wanted to wait to talk about it after badgering. He talked about it in today's Game, uh, game Beat Decides. But yeah, that article, well, the YouTube video, I'm sure just goes over this, the fact that Nintendo might drop a bunch of smaller um, Directs and stuff. Uh, he then goes on to say, I just realized that GoFest is on the weekend, so there's no way it will be on the 4th or the 5th. So this further points to the second week of June being the big week. Uh, and then we also have this as well, um, which is a rumor on 4chan, which again, always take it with a grain of salt. Could this be right? I found it on 4chan some hours ago. Uh, so the Pokemon Presents is set for June the 8th, which is a... Um, it is a uh, Wednesday, so that would obviously make sense. And the announcement for it is on June the 1st, which is a Wednesday. Um, so yeah, it'd be obviously 
they, they tell us about it on the Wednesday, and then the next Wednesday would be it, when it actually happens. Episode 2 of Assuming Snow is on the 8th of June. It will be an opportunity to promote it in the presents. However, I don't trust 4chan leak is fake, but let's see, uh, has high chances to happen. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the first big block of uh, kind of theories and speculations to go over. Again, it could drop at any point. This is just speculation. We could get one this week. We get one next week. Could be the second week of June, third week of June, whatever. Um, it could honestly just drop at any point now. Um, the next thread we're going to go over is this as well. So Soul Silver R tweeted saying, "Realize this is impossible as the fourth slash fifth is a weekend." But it really got me thinking about the Pokemon Sword and Shield promotion cycle. The second information drop was a presents on June the fifth. I also believe that this Scarlet and Violet drop will be a big presents and trailer, just like Pokemon Sword and Shield. They revealed so much, so I'm exciting for uh, so I'm so excited for Scarlet and Violet. So, in the second Pokemon um, Sword and Shield trailer, they um, announced all this stuff. So, June the fifth, uh, get ready for Dynamax in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield in that Pokemon Direct. Um, so, Dynamax obviously uh, massive. You know, it was the game mechanic in um, the Generation 8 games. So, whether we get, you know, a, a trailer or not in June, I mean, we most likely will. It will probably go over the, whatever the gimmick is. And obviously, on June the 11th, it was the Pokemon Sword and Shield E3 gameplay. And then, obviously, June the 25th was, like, the uh, Ness's Gym and stuff. But again, this was all to do with, like, E3 and everything. And we know that that's not on this year. So, I mean... How are they going to kind of break that up into like different things? So yeah, we might just get a massive trailer. I'm expecting if you know if we do get a big trailer, I'm expecting to see the gimmick, um, like three or four new Pokemon, um, some new characters maybe. I don't think we're going to get like start revolutions or anything like that. That's usually a bit later on down the line. Uh, and then we also have this thread here saying, here's that trailer I mentioned above and got chills watching it. They revealed more of the region, regional bird, and three more new mons. Uh, this uh, The wild area, half of the gimmick, plus raid dens, new characters, the professor, rival, champion, the legendaries, box art, and the release date. So all of this was revealed in the second trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, I mean, it makes sense that we'd get something similar to this in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet second trailer, especially because we're not getting anything for E3. So they're just going to cram everything in a massive one big Pokemon Presents. Hopefully, anyway, that's just the way it seems. It says, here's the Presents 2. It was a little over 16 minutes. Again, I'm expecting similar for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. They talked about another new evolution to a new Mon, which was Eldegoss, Stadium Gyms, Corvi Night Travel, and go in-depth on the characters, Dynamax, and new characters. And as well as that, they say they also had a Treehouse Live After, which is obviously where they dropped the information about the National decks uh, being cut and stuff. And after this news drop, the promo officially begins. For Pokemon Sword and Shield, we got a little information drop throughout June, and then they revealed the second half of the Sword and Shield gimmick in July. I'm so excited. After this long wait, we should be in for a great time. I mean, yeah, once we get the second trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Fire, we're definitely going to be in the news cycle. you got to think as well that they had like Pokemon Home to kind of sort out for Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That's done now. Um, they have come out and said that there is a problem with it. Obviously, we are getting a few bugs with Pokemon Home. So I think they're going to kind of like they've addressed it and they're going to sort all that out but now i think that just, it's kind of a wrap now for legends arceus and bdsp you know they don't have to bother about those anymore they're done um and and now they can finally move on to gen 9 and stuff and then they're going to say uh, i forgot that i was going to ask if anyone knows if they announced this sword and shield june the 5th presents a week before or not i'm going to be on vacation so knowing exactly the day i need to make time for it would be so helpful can anyone second uh, or confirm this they've announced the date of the presents one week before 29th of may i do remember that i i definitely remember them doing that so yeah, like usually when we get like presents and stuff, it's usually for like the next day. Um, but yeah, they, they've done it in the past where it has been like um, a week later or so, which I guess when I kind of prefer it when it's a week later because it just gives you so much more time to kind of like bathe in the fact that we're getting something. Whereas the next day is kind of short notice, whereas, you know, a week later we can properly get excited for and stuff. But that's all the information about Pokemon Presents potentially happening um, again. TLDR, it could happen any day now. It really could. Um, but it's likely to be happening in June. Um, probably like the second week of June. I don't think like GoFest would kind of go on at the same time as a Pokemon Presents because everyone's going to be outside playing the GoFest. So they, pe they want people inside watching the Presents. So yeah, I think it's going to be the second week of June personally, but that's just my uh, two cents. But anyway, that's just some more stuff about the Pokemon Presents. Hopefully we see it soon. Of course, when we do see it, 
I will, of course, be uh, streaming it and, and everything like that and, and making videos about it, all that good stuff. But that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. When do you think we're going to see the Pokemon Presents for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.